Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Hi everyone, Iran's Revolutionary Guard. They launched the first satellite into space on Wednesday, that's April 22nd, 2020. So, they're revealing to us what experts are saying. They're describing as, yes, a secret military space program. I mean, the, during the pandemic, during the, the war, during what just happened, considering what's happening with Iran, I mean, it's it could be serious. Um, it could advance its ballistic missile development in Iran, of course, amid wider tensions between the Islamic Republic and the U.S. I can't believe it. 9.58 p.m., the same time as yesterday's Starlink train. Again, right over Venus. This is Venus, guys. And there's the train. But this time, holy crap, it's going straight up in the sky. Elon Musk says Starlink satellite broadband beta testing is about to start very soon. SpaceX now has more than, yeah, 400 flying routers in orbit with plans to more than triple that number in the coming months. Broadband is in a higher demand. Why? Obviously, because we're all in a pandemic because of the coronavirus. So they're trying to uh, get more locations, get more satellites out to do the testing immediately. So this week, the company launched another batch of 60 satellites to bring the total size of its growing Starlink broadband constellation to more than 400. It has the go ahead to launch more than 12,000 satellites. So we have a whole bunch of countries with military spy satellites at that in space that no countries know what the other countries doing in space. But I'll tell you what, those are all uh, eyeballs, right? They're all staring at us. They can do anything they want. I suppose it could be a good advantage, but I'm starting to wonder if the UFOs that are responding to us isn't the government listening to us. Lots going on out there in the world, my friends. So much going on out there, and there's so much that people don't know. It's incredible. So this is the train that I got last night, and I'm gonna be checking tonight, obviously, to see if it's still out there on day three. Wow, could it be possible? I assume we would see it rising higher and higher, and I'm expecting that train line to be less and less as we see the satellites go up into orbit. So now a couple of more shots of this one in slow motion, and then we head over to compare both of them. I'll put up before the end of the video, just side by side, both captures, and we'll compare some of the differences of them. You know, the world sees borders all over the world. We all see the borders. You know, those borders are for us, the people, because in reality, the ones ruling the planet are one system, right? No matter which country is being run, it's all by one group of people. By putting up borders in the world, it would be a lot easier to regulate one entire group of 8 billion people if there were those borders. By having borders between us and by creating differences like languages between us, it's creating vast barriers and walls that keep us apart fighting different cultures we could all have different cultures but we could all be one group of people together and fight for things we believe in we all have families we all have the same color blood well i don't know anymore so here we are the 22nd on the left that's what the line looked like and here it is coming back on the right do you see how it's stretching out how it's getting more elongated I don't know what the process is as they go up into the orbit, but we could see it occurring as I'll be checking also tonight by any chance. I doubt it, but who knows if I get it tonight, we'll be able to see exactly what it looks like and how many days it takes as we uh, track the satellites going up in orbit. Project MK Ultra, also called the CIA Mind Control Program, 
is the code name given to a program of experiments on human subjects that were designed and undertaken by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency, some of which were illegal. MKUltra was a top secret CIA project in which the agency conducted hundreds of clandestine experiments, sometimes on unwilling U.S. citizens and Canadian citizens to assess the potential use of LSD and other drugs for the sake of controlling one's mind. Information gathering and psychological torture is what's been done to us for the past hundred years. I know it's all being done through frequencies, okay? So when I see these satellites up in the air like that, by the thousands, it scares me. <laughs>